Hello and welcome again. In this guide, you will learn the Swift Performance Lite plugin tutorial and the best setting to speed up your website for good user experience for free. Basically, there are two methods to set Swift performance. The first method is by using the auto config method. This auto config setting will scan your website for the best pre made setting for you and you don't need to care for the rest of the thing. Everything is done by automatically. And usually this setting will give you higher pitch score, but not the best for real human visitor. So in my opinion, you still have to tweak a little bit from the auto config so that you get the best user experience for real human. And at the same time, you still can get high score for the pitch speed. Which one do you prefer depends on individual. And if you prefer the manual setting that in my opinion, better user experience, please continue to watch this tutorial to the end. So before we start to configure our Swift Performance plugin, let's test on the page score. So I assume that you already installed Swift Performance Lite plus the reloaded version. So if you have not install the reloaded version what you need to do is after you log into your dashboard just click on swift performance and you will come into this dashboard the other way to come to this dashboard is to click on tools and swift performance you will come to the same place so from here you click on activate feature this is where you key in your name and your email address and check on the accept the terms and condition and click on send Tyson key button they will email you the license key, just copy and paste here and click on activate. Basically, there are two methods to config Swift performance. The first method is by using the auto config where you click on setup widget here to start the auto config and you just select the auto config. And click on start and swift will auto scan for your website and will give you the best pre-made setting for your website after the scan finish click on next so if you are using cloudflare just click on enable and key in your global api key here and click on save so after that click on swift performance dashboard so after you reach the dashboard click on clear all catch and from here you will see the page starts catching so the second method is the manual configure method which i think is best for real human visitor what you need to do is click on setting here and click on advanced view so anything that i mentioned is what you need to enable or disable whatever that i did not mention you can leave it as default so step one in general setting make sure use compute api is turned on and the next click on heartbeat toggle everything and uncheck on host or pages that's all you need to set and step two click on media under media what you need to do is click on images tab search for general webp make sure it's toggle on and surf webp click on this select use picture elements and another thing is disable lazy load image and click on embed lazy load iframe enable and load iframe on user interaction on and let's go to step 3 optimization optimize preview only off disable emoji turn on and collect domains from script turn on normalize static resources on and next click on script what we need to do is turn off merge script and and disable jquery migrate on the next one is style 
merge style off and go to font font is for pro version only so we will skip this click on html fix invalid html off minify html make sure it's disabled because if you're using cloudflare we will minify html on cloudflare site rather than on your server resources so let's go to step 4 catching so under general make sure enable catching is turned on if not this plugin will not work for catching mode click on this catch is the fastest catch expiry mode select action based mode and clear catch after update on enable browser cache make sure it's on and catch sitemap on so we go to next setting tweaks strict host make sure it's enable and the next one eject this one just leave it as default click on exception so for exception you should exclude pages with form or any shopping cart pages and any page that you don't want to be catch so the next one is warm up so for preview speed choose unlimited if you can if you don't have unlimited option just leave it as default for warm-up table source you can either use auto if your pages is not much on your website or you can click on sitemap and enter the sitemap url here but for this tutorial i will just use auto for remove redirects enable preview archive enable preview terms disable and the next one varnish enable if you are using varnish if not just leave it as default so step 5 cdn enable if you are using cdn and cloudflare enable if you are using cloudflare and key in your global api key here and click on save changes and click on reset warm-up table after that go back to dashboard and click on clear all catch and you should see swift will preview all the catch for your website according to the priority of the pages that you can set in the setting before we have 74 score for our mobile let's see now what we get as you can see the score for mobile goes up to 99 and for desktop is 100 so let's see for gt matrix click on retest And for GT metrics, we score nearly 100% for everything. Swift Performance is my recommended catching plugin, especially for small budget and web hosting that not running on Lightspeed technology. And with this setting in this tutorial, you are good to go even if you are using budget hosting. I hope that you found this video to be informative and helpful. And please like and subscribe to this channel for more helpful video updates.